to the God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faint nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak. And to those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. Thank you. 
parents clothes only for the immediate family. So if you have a dream that you'd like to be at this time, this will be your last opportunity to be. Then we will have prayer by Deacon Mark Russ Sr. of the Vineyard Worship Center, Dallas, Texas. We will then have a song, uh, Sister Michelle Carey, and then we will have written resolutions. That's not remorse. That's resolutions. There will be no remorse today. Only resolutions from the church, school, the company and an organization. And we will ask you to please, if you are, if you have resolutions, to be as expeditious as you can. Amen? If you have not sit where this family is sitting now, you don't understand. And even if you sit there, you still don't understand because you're not there. Amen. Then we will have a special tribute by Nathaniel Jackson. Then another special treatment by Derek Jackson Sr. Then we will have a song, Sister Kelly Johnson. 
Then we will have our eulogy by Reverend Anthony Holmes of the Bridge Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, Dallas, Texas. Then we will have a congregational dismissal and family private viewing, and I will come back at that time. Let's pray that God will give this family the comfort and strength that they need right now. And family, let me say to you, if you ask him to help you, he will help you. And I'm not telling you what I read in a book. I'm telling you what I know for myself. And let's give God another hand clap for you.
not another second or another minute. Not an hour of another day. But Lord, I need you right away. If I never knew you before, to show up back. Such a world for more of a true best friend than I had in me. You're my best friend. I know in me. I stretch my hands to thee. Come rescue me. I need you to cry away. The agony of being alone. It is 
with our deepest sympathy that we have gathered together to save Fern Wheeler. We, the class of Lincoln High School, share in your sorrow. Your loss is our loss. And though we would miss every, we would not forget the time we were able to share him with you. And as much as we love him, we know God loves him best. Romans 8, 38 to 39 reads, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Whereas Eric was a loving father, son, brother, uncle, cousin, and friend, he was a hard worker. He enjoyed life and having fun. He was a pro at dominoes. He was friendly and respectful. These are the attributes of a good man. And though we know not the day nor the hour when the Son of Man shall return, we are reminded that our life is just a vapor that will soon fade away. Be in resolve on behalf of the Lincoln High School class of 1979. I can go to sleep or with you. To you, Liz, our classmates, you are a loving mother, and that can never be taken away from you. To his brothers, Derek and Robert, and to his son, Nathaniel, and to Melo, and to the entire family, close friends and loved ones, we want you to know that our hearts and prayers are with you on today. We encourage you to hold on to God's unchanging hand and never let go. We encourage you to look to Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. Today is a good day, and we have come to celebrate a well-deserved life. So rejoice, and again I say rejoice, for you will see him again in that great getting up morning, when the wicked will cease from troubling, and the weary will be at rest. Be it further resolved that we are here for you, Call on us. We will come. Jesus said it best in Matthew chapter 11. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So cry if you must, but not as though you have no hope, for God shall wipe away all tears from your eyes. Humbly submitted, Reverend Gertrude Johnson, class minister, Paula Alba, class president, Rhonda Moore Reader. Thank you.
Friendships that have stood the test, time and change are surely this. Brown may wrinkle, hair may grow gray. Friendship never knows decay. For mid old friends, tried and true, once more, we are youth renewed. Cherish friendship. Just remember that every, I always had a smile. I always enjoy life. So I want to part that to y'all from the only season. Just remember to enjoy life regardless. Um, I wish y'all a lot of success and everything. Love you. Um, Thank y'all. Thank you. 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 Thank some are teammates, some are friends, but for most of us, we have lost a brother. Eric was a very special man, and he always treated others like family. When you saw Eric every week, you always knew that you were going to laugh. You were going to argue, and you were going to walk away feeling nothing but love. There was something special about being a student at the high school in 97, and Eric was a major part of that atmosphere. At any time, we could be found at the nearest game table playing cards, Slam the dominoes and talk to plenty of snakes, all who would listen. Eric was a person that you could not see for 10 years, and when you see him, still pick right back up when you left off. He often checked on others and was always a call away when you needed him. Our hearts are heavy as we, as we reflect on the wonderful moments we had with Eric, and knowing that we don't have a chance to create new, new moments with him. His life is not finished, although it is resolved here on earth. 2 Corinthians 5 8 says, We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be access in the body and to be present with the Lord. We look forward to seeing him again, and the impact he had on our lives was great. On behalf of the class of 1997, we salute you, Eric Jackson, and we love you. To the family, we offer continued prayers, and we too are on their call away for whatever you need. The HS class of 1997. <laughs>
Thank you. 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 Thank You know, brother, it's hard. It's my kids, man. I know I don't want y'all to understand, man. It's just life. You know what I'm saying? We're going we to fight through this. I love y'all. Y'all stay focused. And, you know, understand, man. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just life, y'all. It's not just life, fam. It's just life. Kiki, he loves you. He, he loved you more. So he loves you too now. He loved the kids. He loved y'all. He loved his family. He loved his friends. He loved everybody. You know, he didn't have a hate in his bone. He didn't have a hate in his bone. Thank you all. I love you
deal with it or just leave them alone. When we think about God calling Eric home, sometimes we say it's not fair and it just doesn't feel right. With so many people who we feel deserve to have lost this battle and who appear to be so evil, why would God see fit to take away one of his children, one who we believe served him faithfully? It stings and it hurts, and we ask ourselves, why? Why not me? Why not them? Or why not anyone other than Eric? I offer this to you. God knew in his infinite wisdom that Eric had somehow finished the race. Uh, uh, while we were praying that Eric would get healed, that's exactly what God did. Okay, that went over your head. Okay. We were praying for a certain type of healing. God said, I got a perfect healing. Uh, he knew that he believed that God is the way, the truth, and the life. God knew that if he took him now, yes, it would hurt. Yes, it would sting. But he knew that the legacy of love and the life that Eric left will allow you, the family, you, the friends, and, and you to carry on. God knew that the strength that Eric spoke of is inside of you and was given to you by knowing Eric for so many years. And that, that as hard and as fair as this may seem, God knew that you could and you would endure. Y'all, we're going to make it. We're going to make it. I said earlier, nothing catches God by surprise. Even the fact that this day that is promised to all of us will one day come. You ask, why not? One of the bad people that was left here, and the answer is God wanted to give them another opportunity to get it right. Just the way Eric did. When you accept Christ as your Savior, the reality of the situation is that you do, in fact, get it right. God knew the magnificence of his life and in his extreme love to not wait any longer to bring him home, and now he sits in heaven with God in a new glorified body. Liz, you don't have to sit up with him no more, man. Yeah. Because see, as, 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 as much as you feel like you can hold him, God can hold him more. Amen. God does answer prayers. He may not come when you want him. As a matter of fact, he may not come the way you want him. But when he does come, he's always on time. I got some Bible readers in here. And we thank God for having shared him with us for the time God allowed. I was told that Eric loved Vegas. So there y'all go, y'all. Thank you, woman. He might have just liked the lights. He might have just liked walking through some of the buildings, some of the scenery. Yeah, right. You know who his granny is, right? Wait a minute, let me bring it closer. You know who his mama is. <laughs> but I can just imagine Eric having a conversation, conversation with Aunt Alice right now in between their times of praise. We're all going to miss Eric. But if you knew him, then you, all, you will always have a piece of him with you. Just like all of us, he had some good days. He had some bad days. He had some hills to climb. He may have had some complaints, but Eric said, if you love me, then stay with me. I was told that he was a jack of all trades, and I know for a fact that he talked plenty of noise. Eric was decent on the grill. <laughs> decent. Yeah. And honestly, I only took a couple of plates home with me when them and the dairy were cooking there. But, but it, it wasn't because it was so great, I was just hungry. That, that, that's all. I, not, not, cause you, you good. You good. You good. But I was just hungry. And so they were all right. But you, when did they say, is it soon? I, not that I like it. I'm just. But yeah, but yeah, go ahead and do the thing. But if you could do it, Eric could do it better. He even wanted to get on this thing that Corey and I had with Bowling. 
Now, if anybody has ever seen me bold, you know that's not what you want to do. But, it, but, 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 but Corey and I had this thing where we were, had a little bet going that if he beat me, I would buy him a steak dinner. And if I beat him, he would buy me a steak dinner. That's been three years ago, and Corey ain't showed up yet. <laughs> Eric was talking about it last year, and, and, and Lord decided to call him home. But I just want him to know you owe me, bro, because I was going to beat you. But I'm going to miss E, as some say, Big E. And I'm not going to tell anyone not to cry. I'm not going to tell anyone not to be sad. But those of you who know Jesus have a different way of crying because we recognize that in Jesus there is hope. So I cry that we're going to miss him. But one day on that great in the morning, when the Lord calls his children home, we that believe will see Eric again. And oh, what a day of rejoicing that would be. Notice what I said this that we that believe. I'm going to leave that long for right now. I'll hear it back before we finish. I don't know why the Lord allowed Eric to be taken from us, but what I do know is that the Lord loaned him to us for 43 years. We know that Eric Jackson was born on January the 13th, 1979. We know that the Lord called him home on March the 27th, uh, 2022. And yes, both of those days are important. But what I want you to focus on is the time in between. Let me explain that to you. Let me explain that to you. Uh, in between the sunrise and the sunset, that was the time that you all got to know Eric, the way that you got to know him. When you see an obituary and you see the date and the and, and, and the date of birth and the date of his home going, it's always separated by a dash. <laughs> Somebody know where I'm going with that. All right. In that dash was where Eric showed himself to be your son. A grandson, your, your brother, your nephew, your uncle, your cousin, and your close friend. Remember the dash, because that is where Eric has some highs and some lows. But if you don't remember anything else about him, remember that he is a child of the king. And in the words of Eric, if you love me, then stay with me. Take me as I am. I'm closing now, but I want you to know that God, the God I serve will love you and take you as you are. I uh, see. I was going somewhere with that. I was going. So it ain't just about Eric. See, this is the house where Eric used to be. Eric has gone on from here. He's no longer here. He might still be here, but he's no longer here. Did y'all get that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, that, that's the house where he used to stay. And the only way that you will get to see Eric again is if you take the Lord into your life. Uh, it's simple. It's really simple. All you have to do is confess and believe. Confess that without Jesus you are nothing and believe that Jesus died for you and God raised him from the dead. And the Bible says that you will be saved. See, I don't know any mistakes that Eric made, but I'm sure he made some. I'm not going to sit back and say that he was perfect. I'm not going to sit back and say that any of us are perfect, but we serve a perfect saint. And that God has no problem raising Eric back. Because uh, the Bible says to be absent from the body is to be with God. There is no greater place that I would rather be than with King Jesus. Ah. Accept God for who he is. Miss Eric. Cry for Eric that you're going to miss him. But don't ever forget, there's a home one celebration waiting for all of us. You all be blessed. My family knows how to contact me if you ever need me. I love you all, and there's nothing you can do about it. Amen. Be blessed. Give us some marching music so you will be able to march.
want you on out of this sanctuary <laughs> so that the family will be able to have that private view. We're going to ask you to be obedient as we give you the directions to exit the sanctuary right now. But as you exit the sanctuary, remember that this family will need you after this day is over with. And so don't stop calling. Don't stop going by. We want you to continue to do that. But at this time, we're going to ask you if you would exit the sanctuary. And the sooner that you can do this, the sooner we can do what we need to do with the family and we can get on with what we have to do. Okay. The only ones that stand are the ones that's right here in my immediate uh, center. They are the only ones. This is the immediate family right here. If you're not in the immediate family, thank you, sirs, and thank you, ma'am, for being obedient. Life is over. 